Well, if you enjoy practicing yoga, you have an upcoming opportunity to stretch under the stars. Ayla Bedford is the owner of Living <laughs> Yoga Quad Cities, and Ryan McCarty joins us from McCarty's Corner Farm in Eldridge. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thanks for having yes, us. Yes, I'm uh, super excited to talk about this event that you have coming up, and I just learned during the commercial break that it is actually uh, really a first of its kind event. Uh, yeah, for here uh, that we know of. Yeah, yeah at McCarty's at least. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so uh, we'll get into it. Uh, we want to start with the farm, though. Uh, Ryan, this is a family farm located in Eldridge. Talk a little bit more about what makes you and your farm so special. Um, I think it's because we um, really like to bring people out to see what we have, our alpacas, mm -hmm. um, our goats, and then we actually have um, two new animals coming in a couple weeks. Really? Yeah. Okay. So we're pretty excited. There, uh, one's a mini Highland cow and one's oh. a mini uh, Galloway cow. I've actually Google searched Highland cows before because I think they're so cute. Yeah. So that is what kind of makes McCarty so special is look at those little faces on your screen right now. All the animals are like cute, friendly little storybook animals. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. And what makes it even cooler is that people can come out for different events or different tours. And as we can see on our screens, get up close and, and, and meet these animals. Yeah, for sure. Uh, feed them, take selfies, whatever, <laughs> get to know them. There's one, like yes. Yeah. Oh, so, so, so <laughs> cute. Okay, so one of these upcoming events that we're talking about is the Cosmic Glow Yoga, uh, which is happening next Saturday night. Uh, so, Ayla, tell us where the idea came from. Have you have you partnered with McCarty's in the past doing yoga? I've worked with McCarty Corner Farm doing barnyard yoga for about the last two and a half years. Wow. It's been a huge success, and I can't take any credit for the Cosmic Glow <laughs> yoga this was all their idea so we're excited it. to try something new yeah I can imagine so it's gonna look a little something like that uh, when people are out there uh, doing yoga mm -hmm. uh, so let's learn a little bit more about living yoga quad cities which is your business um, yes. you you come out and you instruct at McCarty's corner farm mm -hmm. but also you do your own thing so uh, I guess let our viewers know a little bit more about you and your business thank you yes we have a studio on Harrison and 30th in Davenport right before you get to Vanderveer Park so we're centrally located, and we offer a yoga scholarship program, which is unique to our area. We have hot yoga and non-hot, and we have a cold plunge. So if wow. money is the only reason why you're not coming to yoga, we've got your back. Come anyways. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, great. So, and we're seeing photos of people uh, <laughs> doing yoga out there. Um, so participants, what can they expect at Cosmic Glow Yoga, Ryan? Oh, um, so we have a couple LED black lights that will okay. be shining out there and it actually turns your brighter clothing like shiny like if so you wear see white lights, yeah or, or like bright colors like okay. neon colors and then they'll just glow yeah um, so it's gonna be fun um, you will don't the have animals to be, be out or will they be sleeping? It no, starts at 8, right? Yeah, it starts at 8. Uh, we might bring them out with some, like, uh, glow glow bands around their necks sure. or whatever, uh, just for fun. I don't. <laughs> th they'll probably just walk around. I don't know how much they'll like the dark, but it'll be really fun for all ages. So. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something cool and new to try. Um, so, Ayla, tell us about the difficulty level potentially involved in this. I mean, who can participate in this yoga? Oh, anyone can participate in this yoga. If, if you're allowed and breathing you can do it bring your kids um, bring your parents it's super gentle and it's just about having fun yeah and I have seen that in the past it's been a really great thing for you know parents and kids to come out and, and do this together um, how important it is to you I mean I know that you you practice and your level of difficulty is obviously up there but you know you also do these types of really family friendly events as well uh, so why is that important to you to kind of across the board make it so much more inclusive? Well, yeah, I think just that inclusivity is there's this stigma that you have to be flexible to do yoga or um, you know, do these crazy poses and postures, and it's really not about that at all. Um, saying that you're not flexible enough to do yoga is like saying you're too dirty to take a shower. <laughs> okay, I like that. Yeah. Uh, so anything, um, you know, that participants should keep in mind before they head out or anything that they should make sure that they bring with them? Um, 
a good attitude and ready to have fun. That's about it. That's about it. Okay, awesome. Do they need mats? Do they need to bring their own mats? We have extras. You have extras. Yes. Okay, so if you don't have a yoga mat, uh, that's an option potentially. Um, so, uh, Ryan, at the end of the month, you are celebrating uh, something special at the farm, National Alpaca Days. Yes. So, uh, before we lose you this afternoon, I, I want you to talk a little bit about this because um, this has been gaining in popularity for folks over the past couple of years, and everyone says you got to stop by and yeah. check out the alpacas. Yeah, so um, it's our biggest event. We have food trucks there. We oh, have wow. uh, live music, so Angela Myers will be there performing both days. Uh, we'll do yoga both days in the mm -hmm. morning before the event starts. Cool. And then, so people can kind of, as they're walking in, see what's happening uh, with the yoga in case they haven't seen it, and they'll maybe get excited about that too. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, they'll be able to come out, see the animals, feed them, just run around, have some fun. We'll have a bounce house out there. Yeah. Uh, Cindy's Shaved Ice will be out there. Wow. And, um, All out. Yeah, our, our farm store will be open, so that will be there. And just all-around fun day for the family. So. Yeah, that's really great. I have to ask, is this something, Ryan, that you guys have always had in your family, this no. this farm? I mean, I remember when Molly was on the show and she was kind of giving me a little of a backstory. This has been such a cool venture, I feel like, for, yeah. for you guys. Uh, it, yeah, we've been doing this for about five and a half years now, so um, we're still learning, and uh, every year we're trying to bring more and more to it, so yeah. the cows will be something new that you'll yeah. be able to see this year. And then, yeah, we're just trying to bring people out that haven't seen stuff like this before and yeah. then just have a good time with their families. So. A lot of community support there. Yeah. All right, well, uh, if you want to learn more about the classes and services that are offered at Living Yoga, visit the website livingyogaqc.com. Really easy website to navigate. And if you're interested in Cosmic Glow Yoga at McCarty's Corner Farm, it is set for Saturday, September 7th at 8 p.m. It's $25 or $15 for kids 12 and under. And you can register just by visiting McCarty's Corner Farm on Facebook and clicking the event link. Uh, Ryan and Ayla, thank you so much for being on the show. It's going to be a really thank fun you. weekend. Yeah, thank you so yes, much. Of course.